Broadcaster Mark Sainsbury wants the government to establish a champion for the elderly. Mr Sainsbury appeared before the Health Select Committee this morning to speak to his petition calling for a commissioner for the elderly to be created. He was joined by the woman whose story of the alleged neglect of her father in a care home inspired him to campaign for action. But despite it being a campaign promise from Labour, it looks unlikely there'll be any action this term. Political reporter Yvette McCullough was there. Last year, Karina O'Brien rang in to Mark Sainsbury's talkback radio show in despair about the way she said her father was being treated at Palms Life Care. He never got drinks unless I was there. They never showered him. They didn't give him any pain relief. And when I asked the specialist nurse, she said to me, it would have been an agony day in and day out. Her father was only at the care facility for 90 days before passing away. But a county's Monaco DHB report into her complaints found his pain wasn't managed appropriately. The family had difficulty discussing their concerns about his deteriorating condition with staff and there were issues with regular showering. Maggots were found in his toes when his leg was being dressed. Mr Sainsbury says the story was horrifying to hear as was the response it evoked. And for me what was most disturbing was people ringing in who were just genuinely terrified. Bizarre saying, we do not have any family, we do not have someone like Karina arguing our cause. What happens if I get sick and go under care? There is nothing to protect me. And it was just absolutely, it was just heartbreaking listening to those people. So we decided we need to do something. Mr Sainsbury says while there are avenues for people with concerns to reach out, the message he's getting is it's too complicated, takes too long and people don't feel safe. And I'm sorry, that's something we have to address. So whether it's changing the perception or changing the job, but then spread through the Disabilities Commissioner, the Ministry of Health, the DHBs, the Retirement Commissioner, the Ombudsman, there's all these different things. There's no one single person or office where people go, you are there for me. Ms O'Brien says as well as complaining to the DHB, she took her concerns to the Health and Disability Commissioner. Then I got an electronic acknowledgement of it and then Dad's been passed away 18 months now. In the last month I got an email. Email basically said, hey we've investigated, you've got a case, we're now going to investigate. In a statement, the Deputy Health and Disability Commissioner Rose Wall says they expect to keep complainants updated throughout the process but that seems not to have happened in this case, which is something they regret. She says on average it takes the Commission four months to assess and resolve a complaint, but complexity does take time. Ms Wall says aged care complaints consistently make up 5% of complaints they receive. In opposition, Health Minister David Clark pledged to introduce an aged care commissioner if elected, promising that it would be provided for in their first budget. Today, he deferred questions on the issue to the Associate Minister. Look, that's something that really sits in Minister Solis's uh, area as um, the health lead on the aged care sector. I know she's uh, reviewing a lot of the settings in that area at the moment. Ms Solisa is overseas and unavailable for comment, but New Zealand First MP and Seniors Minister Tracy Martin says she wants to see a Seniors Commissioner with the same monitoring and advocacy powers as the Children's Commissioner. They're a large part of our population, they're going to get larger um, and I don't think at this stage that we have an independent advocate away from government there is somebody keeping government honest and pushing them on, this, on the issues that are important to this group of New Zealanders. Ms Martin says she's not sure where Labour and the Greens stand, but this is a piece of policy work her party is looking at. However, that wouldn't be in place before next year's election. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Yvette McCullough.